Hi guys, it's Molly, and today I have a mini band arm workout for you. So you won't need any dumbbells or any other weights for this workout. All you need is one mini band, and I'll get you all warmed up, so let's get started. We want to get some blood flowing into those arms, so you can go ahead and swing those arms, alternating which arm is crossing over the other. This is going to be a super quick workout, and you're really going to feel the burn in your entire upper body, your shoulders, your bicep, your back. It is going to feel great, and then you can go on with your day. Good. Roll those shoulders up and back. We're mainly focusing on warming up the upper body because that's all we are working on today. This is also a great video to do as a burnout after some cardio or after a longer upper body workout. Very good. Bring those arms up and down. Bring it up and down. This was actually a requested video, and I love doing the videos you guys request, so be sure to keep asking for what you want to see because I promise I'll make it. Very good. Bring it up and down. Up and down. Very good. Let's start to jog in place, get the heart rate up a little bit, and then we'll get going. So today I'm going to be using a medium to light band, nothing too heavy. The set of bands I have come with five bands, which are light to heavy with a medium, and I'm using the one in between light and medium. So it's somewhere in the middle there. You want something that's going to force your muscles to engage, but nothing too heavy, because you want to be sure you're keeping proper form during all of the exercises. Let's do a few jumping jacks, either jumping or stepping side to side. This will be the final warm-up exercise, and then we'll get going. Let's just do five more. Four, three, two, and one. Very good, you guys. Go ahead and grab whatever band you are wanting to work with today. Mine is this blue color, and what we're going to do is start with shoulders. So I want you to bring that band around your wrists. You're constantly having tension in that band, so you never want to feel relaxed like the band is just going to fall off. You need tension in that band so you're engaging those muscles all the time. All right, we're starting with a shoulder press. I want your palms facing forward. You're pushing your pinkies away from each other, and you're pressing up and down, just up and down, and that is the movement. Using mini bands is very different than using dumbbells. With dumbbells, you are going to feel that weight the whole time, but with a resistance band, it's going to become more difficult as that band expands. So usually as you push through an exercise, it starts to get harder and harder. Very good. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. We're going to do eight more presses right here. Today we're just going to keep moving through all of the exercises. We're not really resting at all today. Just pushing through. Good. Two more. One more and we're adding on to this. So you're going to press up. You're going to push your pinkies away from each other. You're going to come back in and go down. So you press up, push away. Come in and come down, and as you push those pinkies apart, you're going to feel more tension in that band. That resistance gets a little bit higher, and it gets a little bit harder. So that's what I meant before when I said as you push through an exercise, it gets harder because it's actually becoming a heavier band the more you separate. Go ahead, lift up, push out, in and down. You should be feeling your shoulders by now. I definitely am. It burns straight away. Good work, you guys. You're up and out and in and down. Two more. You're up and out and in and down. One more. And then you have one more shoulder exercise, which I'll give you a short break. You're up and back. So you're pressing in front of your face and behind your head. Good. Just follow along. You got this. This is getting those shoulders and helping you out with your posture. Forcing those shoulders to push back. You're up and up. Good job. 
Try to keep your posture as normal as possible. Try not to slouch down as you bring that band behind your head. Stand up tall. Keep your chin up. Just force your arms to go back further. Whew, that really, really burns. I need four more. Four, three, two, and one. Press up and release down. Good job, you guys. We are moving into some biceps with hammer curls. I want your palms facing each other. Constant tension in that band. And from here, you're just going to curl up and down. Up and down. So this will also feel different than a normal bicep curl with dumbbells because you're pushing out. The tension is more on the out of that movement than the up, which gets the bicep in a different way, which is great to do. It is important to switch up your workouts so your muscles are always being challenged and they're always slightly confused, which means they have to work harder. Good. Just keep on curling up and down. It'll start to burn, but you just breathe through it. Awesome work. Go for two and one. And we're going to add a press. Yes, back to those shoulders. I know it burns, but you can do it. It's just curl and press down, down. Constant tension in that band. Separate those hands. Separate those hands as much as you can, as much as you can tolerate for the rest of this exercise. You're up and down, still focusing on that curl. Whew, everything is burning now. You can do a lot with these mini bands and it's crazy. They weigh nothing. You can travel with them and get a killer upper body workout just with one of these little bands. I love these mini bands, which you guys know. I've done so many videos with mini bands, and you guys seem to really like them too, so I'm gonna keep posting them. Good, I need one more. Curl, press, in, and down. Shake out your arms a little bit. You can take that resistance off the band. Whew. And we are moving on to some lat pull downs. Now I want you to actually hold the band and you're gonna bring your arms up. This is going to work the shoulders and the back. From here, you're just going to pull those elbows down and squeeze your shoulder blades together. So you're up and squeeze those shoulder blades together and then lift right back up. You squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. The most important part of this exercise is that you focus on pulling those elbows down. The movement is started with that elbow, contracting your upper back muscles. Think about that upper back so that those muscles can engage properly. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. You're probably going to feel your shoulders a little bit too. That's mainly because you've been working the shoulders so much already. But keep going. Wow. Do you guys feel this? If you don't feel this, you do need to grab a heavier band because my arms are burning right now. And we are just about halfway through this workout, so dig deep. You can do it. Keep going for four and three. Oh my gosh, it burns. Two and one. Very good job, you guys. Shake it all out. I know it burns. Trust me, I know it burns. We're going to come down to this kneeling position on the ground. I want your left leg forward, kneeling on that right knee. If your knee's a little bit sensitive, you can put a pillow underneath that knee for some cushion. I want you to bring that band underneath your left foot, but we are going to work the right arm. So you're holding that band with the right arm. I want you to again loop that band around your wrist, and your thumb is pointing up to the ceiling. From here, you're going to do front raises. So lifting that right arm forward and down. I know, I know, more shoulders. It burns, but you can do it. You're up and you're down. Good, up 
and down. You can always switch to a lighter band if you feel like you need to for certain exercises. This is definitely a challenging one, so you may need a lighter band. Perfect, you guys. Up and down, up and down. You're doing four more right here. For three, whoo, for two, and for one. Very good. All right, lift that right knee off the ground. You're going to let that left elbow rest on your left knee. We're doing narrow rows, pulling that right arm up. Lift with the elbow, up and down, up and down. Similar to that lat pull down where we were trying to work your back, we are trying to work your back right now. So again, lead with the elbow. The first part of this movement is the elbow lifting up. And you're bringing that hand right around your belly button. So keep it that low, narrow row. Contract those back muscles every single time. And don't forget to breathe. Breathing is important. Your muscles need that oxygen. Keep up the good work, you guys. Stay strong. If your upper body is burning, that means you're doing something right. Because your upper body is supposed to be burning today. All right, I need four more reps right here. Good. Three, two, and one, relax. You are now going to hold that band with the left hand, and we're going to do side raises. So you are lifting that arm out to the side and down. I'm holding on to the band. It's not resting on my wrist. I'm holding on to the band. I'm lifting that arm out to the side and down. You can have a slight bend in your elbow. But it's not super bent by any means. We'll do this exercise, and then we'll switch sides and do these three movements with that other foot forward. Good work. Breathe, exhale, and it gets hard, which is typically going to be on the up of the movement. So exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Two more. You can do it. Whew. One more. Very Good. I could probably stand to use a lighter band for those raises. Very tricky exercises. And we are going to get into the other side. So now your right foot is forward. And we do have to start with the front raises with that left arm. I know the shoulder is burning right now, but let's do this anyway. For those front raises, again, band is resting on the wrist. And then all you have to do, thumbs up, bring that arm up. You're up and you're down. Good. Keep breathing. Also, the more you use these mini bands, the more they get stretched out and lose some of their tension. So you will need to replace these bands every so often if you're trying to keep that tight resistance, which if you're trying to build muscle is definitely something you need. So keep that in mind. I will have the brand of bands I am using linked in the description box below. But you can always find mini bands at any sporting goods store or on Amazon. I always order off Amazon for these mini bands. It's just easier. Very good. Two more. Whew. That burns. One more. If I can, there we go. It's time for those rows. So lift your left knee off the ground. Rest on that right leg and row it up. Good. Breathe through it. You just have a few exercises left of this workout. So hopefully by this point you're feeling it. Again, if you're not, increase that resistance so that you can feel those muscles. You should be able to do all of these exercises with proper form, but you should be feeling them. So if it feels too easy, you, you need to make it a little bit harder for yourself by having a heavier band. Up and down. Ooh, I feel this already. Feeling that upper back. Again, 
Think about those muscles. There's that mind-muscle connection, which is super important, especially when you're working the back. You want to think contract your back muscles and release. You have to think about it because your body will have a tendency to want to engage your biceps or your chest, but you really have to think about those back muscles when you're trying to work those. All right, we have four and three, two, lift that elbow, one, very good. You have side raises. And then the final three exercises. So now we're working that right arm again. And that arm is going out to the side and down. Out to the side and down. And doing single arm exercises like this is a great way to see how each arm compares to the other. We typically have one stronger arm and one weaker arm some stronger muscles, some weaker muscles, and we're isolating that today. You're gonna to see where your weaknesses are and what you need to work on. Up and down, good job. Up and down. Try your best to control the movement. I know I'm jerking up this band a little bit, but try to control it as much as you can. Again, if you feel like you're breaking form, you do need to drop the resistance, grab a lighter band. You can even do this without a band and still feel the muscles burn. One more here. Out to the side. Very good. All right, now let's lie down. Again, three more exercises and then you're on with your day. We're starting with a chest press. I want you to bring that band around your wrists again and lie all the way down. This chest press is going to look just like it would if you were to do it with dumbbells. So I want you to bring your arms up, push your pinkies away from each other, and you're going to bend those elbows and press up. Bend and press. Again, very different than if you were to use a barbell or dumbbells. The most important part of this exercise is that you're pushing those pinkies away from each other. Always feeling that tension in the band. And that's going to force your muscles to engage in a different way, which is going to help them get stronger. Good work, you guys. Try to let everything else relax. Relax your legs. Relax your neck. Just focus on that chest right now. And as I said before, exhale when it gets hard. Exhale on the difficult part of that movement. And keep that tension in the band. Keep pushing away. You have two more. One more arm stay up. Again, tension in that band. Push those pinkies away from each other. Pullovers, dropping those arms over your head. And lifting up. This is a great one for posture. You're working those shoulders and that upper back. You're down and you're up. It's very normal for you to be feeling just about everything in your upper body right now because everything is contracting to push those arms away from each other. You're down and up. I even feel my triceps a lot, actually. You're going to bring it up and down. Good work, you guys. I know it burns that you just have one more exercise after this, so dig deep, get through it. Let's see two more reps of these pullovers. You're down and up. One more, down and up. Awesome job. Go ahead and lie on your side now. You're lying on your left side, holding the band with your left hand as it extends over your head. We're doing a single arm lat pull down. We did these standing, so as we you know, you pull that elbow down, squeezing those lats in your back. Lift that right arm up and pull down and up. Pull down and release. That is it. Final exercise of this workout. Make it count. Contracting those back muscles 
I know everything is burning, but you can do this. Yes, good job. You're down and up. Keep breathing. Whew, this really does burn, but that's a great thing. It means you're engaging those muscles. Three more, two more, and one more. Good job, you guys. We just have to do the other side, and then you are done. So you're lying on your right side, you're lying on that right arm, and you're working your left uh, side of your body. So that left arm lifts, and that left elbow pulls down. Good. Just relax your head, relax your upper body. Palm is facing away from your body. Focus on all those little details because they will help you get the exercise 100% correct. Very good. Final few reps of this workout. Make them count. That's it, that's it for six. And five, whew, I feel this, four, three, two, and one. Very good, you guys. You can get rid of that band because you are done. Let's take a down dog stretch, lifting your hips up into the air and pressing your chest towards your leg. Feel this stretch all along your backside. We're going to do a few stretches and then you'll be on with your day. Not too painful, right? You can get through these short workouts and slowly roll it up. Very good, you guys. Let's take a cross body stretch. Grab onto one of your wrists and pull across your body. Feel this stretch all along your bicep and shoulder. Awesome work. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini band workout. I have done lots of different mini band workouts, as I said before. Plenty of total body ones, some ab ones, some booty ones. So you can find lots of videos and I'll have them all linked in the cards on the side of the screen. You can switch sides. Mini bands really are one of my favorite pieces of equipment. You can do so, so much with them. Whenever I go to the gym, I always bring my mini bands with me because if I'm waiting for a piece of equipment, I can just do some mini band exercises and I know that they will be effective. Good, go ahead and bring that left arm behind your back, tricep stretch, reaching towards the center of your back right here. And switch it out. Make sure you drink a lot of water now, especially if you sweat a lot, and have some good protein so you can help rebuild those muscles. Good. Shake it out and interlace those hands behind your back. And let's open up that chest. Big inhale. Long exhale. And you guys are done. Thank you so much for working out with me today. If you did enjoy this workout, be sure to give it a like so that I know this is something you guys enjoy. And be sure to subscribe because I make new workout videos every single week. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.